Hey there, and welcome back to the Vex IQ Guide. In today's video, we're going to be walking through a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make one of the best drivetrains in Vex IQ. This drivetrain runs on a 2 to 1 speed ratio, making it super fast, but also have enough torque to carry any heavy load that you need on your robot. This is my favorite drivetrain in Vex IQ, and it's super simple to make, so let's jump right in on how to make it. Firstly, we're going to be taking a 2x20. Now we're going to be taking one of these pitch shafts and putting it into the seventh hole down. On this shaft, we're first going to be placing on two washers. Then we'll be placing on one 48 tooth gear followed by another washer. Then we'll be placing a shaft collar after this washer, and then we'll be placing another shaft collar. Finally, for this shaft, we're then going to be, going to be placing one more washer. Next, we're gonna be making the small module for the wheel. We simply take this piece here and put four pins on it, and we put one shaft collar in. Then we place it inside the holes of the wheel. Next, we'll be taking our other 2x20, and then we're going to be placing these two long double-sided connector pieces on each side of the 2x20, as you can see here. Then we'll be placing a pitch shaft collar onto the fourth hole in on the beam. Then we'll be placing three spacers onto the shaft, followed by the wheel. Make sure the wheel is facing outwards, as you can see it is here. Next, we'll be placing another spacer onto the shaft, followed by one 24 tooth gear. Then we'll be placing two washers on top of this. Now we're going to be flipping this over and placing our other cap shaft, again, four holes in from the other side. Then we flip this over again and place three spacers on the shaft. Then after that, we'll be placing our other wheel for this side onto the shaft. This is going to be our second and only wheel of this side. Then after that, we're going to be placing three more spacers onto the shaft. After that, this is a very important part, so be sure to watch closely. We're going to be combining both sides that we just made. What we have to do is align all of the holes so that the beams are parallel to each other and go in on the connector side on both sides. Then all the holes should line up. Make sure the gears with the 24 tooth and 48 tooth are rubbing against each other. The teeth should be intertwined. Make sure all of the shafts are in their respective holes on both sides. Be sure to look carefully at each shaft and make sure it's in a hole. All shafts should have a hole. Ensure that this is the case and your drive should be good to go just like you see here. Now we're simply going to be attaching the motor by taking the motor and placing it inside of the part of the pitch shaft that sticks out on the end. Simply spin the wheel in order and push down on your motor in order to ensure that it goes in. So now we've made one side of the drivetrain. Now for this drivetrain, we do actually need to make two of these total, one for the right side and one for the left. So I'm going to leave this up to you. You can either jump back to this point in the video and see me do these steps again, or you could try to make it on your own. It's your choice, but you will need two of these to move on with the video. Now we're going to be combining both sides of the drive. I'm going to speed this part up, but as you can see, I'm simply placing four pins on each side of this 2x16. We're going to have to make two of these total. Now that the pins are placed onto the 2x16, 
we're going to be using them to connect both sides of the drive. As you can see, the four pins go in the four main holes of the connector on each side. You can see it snaps right into place on both sides. Now we'll simply be repeating this process for the other side, as you can see here. And there you go, you're all done your build now. Now you've successfully made your own Vesta Hue drivetrain. This drivetrain works great for competition and anything else you would want to use a drivetrain for. If you found this video helpful, consider liking it and subscribing to the channel for more content just like this. I'll see you in the next one.